Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and today in this video we are going to study about complex loci and pseudo alley. Complex loci or complex locus, it is a locus where more than one genes are present. If an, at a particular site, at a particular place or at a particular position, if more than one genes are present together, we call it as a complex loci. Now when at a same locus, more than one genes are present together that means those genes are very closely associated because they are present at one place only for example if i keep one chair in a room and suppose that one chair is sharing by two people both are sitting on the same chairs because both want to rest on that chair so both are sitting by adjusting each other so that means they are very closely packed they are very much linked together because to sit on the one chair, you have to sit with very close association. So similarly, at one place, when more than one genes are present, they are very closely associated. They are very tightly linked and due to which they always transmit to the next generation together because they are very much linked together. So they transmit to the next generation together. Hence, we thought that these are alleles, but actually they are not alleles because they are so tightly linked. They behave as a single allele, but actually these are two different genes. So we call such alleles as pseudo alleles. Pseudo means false. So they are false alleles. We think they are alleles because they are transferring to the next generation together. But actually these are two genes that are very tightly linked together. Now if you see this right hand side functional and structural allele. If it is a true allele that means the mutation will be on the same position. After recombination if you see this orange bar and this black line. This orange line and this black line. After recombination, what will happen? This section will combine together and hence we get this one. And then this black will connect with this orange one. So we are getting this lower one. So if it is allylic, after recombination, when the gametes will form, they will be all mutants. This only we studied in complementation test that if the mutation is on the same gene, then in the next generation we get all mutants okay remember i'll provide the link for that video at the end of this video for those who have not seen that video clear so already we studied in the complementation test that the next generation will be all mutant if the mutation is on the same alleles or same genes if the mutation on the are on the alleles of the same gene. So here you can see after recombination we are getting two single mutants. What if it is a pseudo allele? Pseudo allele means actually this is the mutation on two different genes but both the genes are present on same locus. Now after recombination this orange and this black from below this black and this orange. So what we are getting? one wild type and one mutant that is a double mutant because both the genes are mutated but because they are transferring to the next generation together we thought it as a, it is a single gene but actually these are two different genes hence such two genes we call it as a pseudo allele so in case of pseudo allele if it is a complex loci where more than one genes are present in that case we will get two types of gametes one mutant gamete, one wild type gamete. But actually this mutant is not a single mutant. This is a double mutant. Whereas in allelic mutation, we get two mutants. Both are single mutant. But in case of pseudo allele, we get one wild type and one mutant. And here the mutant is double mutant. Clear? Now let's summarize it. In the complementation test only, we learned this. When mutant 1 is crossed with mutant 2 and the result are all mutants that means it is allelic that is mutation on the same gene same locus or cis mutant or 100% mutant we get when the mutation is on different gene m1 and m2 here suppose gene 1 is mutated here gene 2 is mutated so they are both complementing each other so we are getting wild type why because in m1 1 is mutated in m2 2 is mutated but here in M2 also we will be having gene 2. In M1 also we will be having gene 1. So in the next generation when mutated 1 and the normal 1 will combine, the phenotype will be of normal 1. 
and when mutated 2 and normal 2 will combine, the phenotype will be of normal 2. Hence, we will get all Y type though they will carry the allele of mutated 1 also. So, hence, when the mutation is on the separate gene, we should get Y type progenies. That means non-allelic. But if it is a pseudo allele, in that case, we get 99.99% mutants and 0.01% of wild type. That means it is more like what? Allelic. In allelic, we get mutants 100%, right? So, it is more like allelic. But actually, it is not alleles. These are pseudo alleles because these are actually not alleles. These are different genes on same locus. So, because these genes are very tightly packed, therefore the chance of recombination between such genes is very less. So, that's all for this video. If you found the video informative, please do like, share and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for the next video notification. Till then, stay safe, stay happy.